Okay, that sounds like a plan. All right, All right thanks, Cor. All right, Vincent. Yes, yes, sir. I'll be it's the ball in your court. We waiting on you now. You gotta say no more. Tomorrow, I'll get in here and walk through it, do my measurements, and I have it on paper uh, Sunday night, Monday morning to you. You be able to do it tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can do that for me now. We can go ahead. What's today? It. Friday. Mm -hmm. When you coming back to do measurements? I want to do it tomorrow if possible. Okay. Uh, okay. What about new uh, outlets in that post? Because that brown, that's not going to work. Oh, yeah. All new outlets, uh, doorknobs, yeah. uh, yes. stuff yeah. to make it Yeah, clean. New. You want to make it yeah. to that brown. Yeah. That's, that's not going to um, And doors, too, because all those are interior doors. They're not, they're not interior doors. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to have new doors, too. Okay. The wall that we're going to be opening up is that bathroom. That we're gonna make that an ensuite mm -hmm. and close that one door. So that's the only you send me just like when we just doing configuration. That's okay. the only thing. The other thing, like you say, is just gonna be the demolition town tearing that paneling off the wall. Yeah. Uh, I like I say, getting that old uh, brown up. We'll look into that. We'll address the moisture issue, and if we can, if we can that uh, the Cortex new flooring I was telling you about, mm -hmm. we might can go on top of, because okay. I, I, in that way, what we do is save money. Go on top of what? That oh, that floor already, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's going to serve as a barrier, then that new point, it has yeah. a barrier on it. Then if we get to tearing it up, then you have to get to work. Yeah. 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 Just put it, because it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. We just want to make it on top sure of it. the moisture issue, we address it. Yeah. So all, the, all the demolition that we can, you tell me, cut, we'll cut it. Yeah. yeah. Just go because I put I put the floor on top of carpet. Yeah, I know it. I, I know it very well. It works. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's a, it's a better floor. And yeah. you said you need to measure everything out. Yes, I have to measure everything out. The windows, count my outlets, and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Walk through uh, and on a uh, electric issue we, we, we have to address. It's just that uh, dry up. Okay. Once we do our demo, we're just gonna run it through the studs and hot. It shouldn't be no. You know, Crazy yeah. Yeah. We get in and we get out. Um, I just got the survey done. Uh -huh. I think with this with this plan, we're gonna do like 1,600 square feet. Mm -hmm. Sell it at uh, 150 a square foot. So we're gonna try to get up out of here around 225 to 240. Um, Anything about a duplex? I tried to rezone it. So I'm trying to get that lot too, right? Right. So the um, the city and the county own that lot half and half. Um, so that's been a headache in itself. Yeah, I'm trying to even get them to agree. That's yeah, agreed. but I just got them to agree. Okay. So now, I can't just buy it outright, right? Mm -hmm. It got to go to the auction. So I got to get to the auction. I hope some dummy don't fucking Be bid it up, you yeah. know. But, you know, I think it's going to make sense because when you got two, you can kind of control the comps better yeah. than just spot building. Spot building, yeah. Because it, it, worst case, you put one right here and turn one around that way. Yeah. And then the loss is deep, so it go all the way back. If you know you develop that and, and, and grade all that out, it's a deep lot, you okay. know. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is no parking, but I'm seeing people park on the street, right? Yeah. But I don't know if people are gonna park on the street playing playing two forks. Right. Why can't you put the house and then have their driveway coming beside it? I could. Yeah. I could. Because like, like the driveway right, right there. Right there. Yeah. To come right there, throw the house right there. Bam. If you get the next lot. Um, turn it around that way and throw their driveway on the side. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's crazy. It was a house right here. I tore. I tore it down myself. Like I, I they quit claiming me the deed, mm -hmm. and then I found out it was on a demo list. Wow. So I'm like, well, if the city do it, they're gonna charge me three, four times what it's really gonna cost. So I was racing against the clock trying to get out here, and I ain't never demoed a house before. So I went and bought the uh, excavator machine. Okay. Dude, showed me the buttons. <laughs> And, uh, I'm, and let me back up. I got to try to get a permit, but they was taking all day. So I was like, man, let me, let me, I mean, I only got like five hours to get it down. Get it down. <laughs> so I got it down quick. And Vincent, the, uh, the other contractor, he the one help grade it out, you know, and, and did the, uh, the dumpster and stuff. So. Okay. so it's already been graded? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It just need to be developed and, you know, underground, okay. underground plumbing. But, um, you know. That should be good. Chip doing this one too. So 
shit. I'm trying to build a relationship with them. Yeah. So if we keep in a hundred percent financing, we, we can buy the whole damn city. Yeah, just yeah. as many as you know. What I'm saying like yeah, it's get nothing. it done. Like I literally, I only had to do is bring earnest money. That's mm -hmm. all I had to do. You know, and they take their money out the profit, so yeah. it made sense. It took me about two months to get this survey. I kept, I called every survey in, uh, in the city. Mm -hmm. So Melissa, one of our agents, me and her were both looking for a surveyor. She mm -hmm. found one. She found one before me, so she hit me. She was like, I found one. Call this guy. He, he charged 650 and he can do it the next day. So I called him. He tried to charge me 1200 in two weeks out. So I had her call like this lot was mm -hmm. hers. And he did it. Yeah, for six fifty, yeah. and did it in two days. As you can see, the uh, <laughs> the stakes is out here, but yeah. it's crazy. But uh, you know, I ain't even tripping though. You know, we just got to get some more surveyors okay. on our team, so we ain't got to go through that no more. What you got there? I got chicken, fajita chicken, shrimp, broccoli, some brown rice, and some uh, some potatoes. And what sauces did you get again? Okay. So the one I got in here, sweet chili. This is customer's favorite. Child's Mongolian. And what was the other one? I forgot the third one. <laughs> Teriyaki or something? I don't know. Well, I'm about to mix it all in. Get some flavor. Yeah. It's a good time. Okay, awesome. I met with your client, Ms. Langford, and I got her the key to okay. into the front door for the temporary occupancy. Okay. And um, I just wanted to let you know that that has been done. I was also um, looking at the emails uh, with regards to um, the one that, you know, Bill, that you CC Bill and me on uh, just a little while ago. The Builder um, Docs? Regard, yeah, the Builder Documents, yes, sir. Okay. Um, and I just, Bill wanted me to reach out to you and see, uh, you know, because these were things that I think the we're trying to get to from the lender, correct? Yes, to the lender, yes. Yeah, to the lender. Um, so I have a couple of those documents, um, but some of those I think they were going to be um, so like I've got the 99A and 99B, the soil treatment stuff, um, but I was a little confused because I thought they might have already had all of that information. Yeah. Um, so that was stuff that I believe Rebecca, our transaction coordinator, had gotten, you know, like with with the title company and, and so it was a little confusing to me when I got that um, but I do have some of those documents um, and I'm happy to send those uh, the ones that I have but I just was kind of curious because that was something that I thought was already um, okay so I think let's do this so send the docs that you have CC the lender and myself as well as Rebecca to see what got lost in the shuffle. Okay. You got it, sir. All right, thank you. And then whatever else we need, uh, just let me know and we'll get that over and we'll, or we'll find out who has it and we'll get it. Okay, I appreciate it, Chris, and I look out for that email. You got it, sir. Have a great day, sir. All right, you too. Like 50 deals going on. I'm going crazy. Wow. I need some help, man. Right. <laughs> Won't you be a realtor? <laughs> I help you. Do you want to see like what I'm thinking yeah, about? Like you gonna position somebody right here? Well, you've been in the hair part. I mean, if yeah. I got to look, she, put look. my hair to the side. So what we talk about? Uh, me and Erica. Erica's one of our. She's an agent. But she's my partner too. So she owns this building. We're gonna put our agents up here. So she had an idea to put us out there. 
or she got a she got a hair she got a hair salon next door. She don't want to put us in there because that'll take away her hair business. So this is the um, spot right here, and hopefully we can revamp it to whatever we need it to be. So um, if this is all we need is this. So I was thinking if we do use it, it may be like an open concept, sort mm -hmm. of like, you know, check cash, you got the desk lined up or whatever the case yeah. is. And uh, throw some file cash and see. Okay. Fax machines and stuff like that. You probably put like a desk, like coming yeah. through the door. Maybe three agents. Yeah, three desks. And, yeah. and they not going, they going to be in and out. They might right. just come in and print something like that and Internet then they out. Uh, or bring the client like in yeah. or something like that. So. I think this will work. Yeah, we're going down there 10 minutes. It's actually 10 minutes from Let's my office. You want to call and Vincent? Go. You need yeah. him? Okay. You know, um, I call Vincent. I'm on my phone, though. Yeah, man. Okay. When you said hop in the car with you, oof, boy, it saved yeah, me. I'm so tired of driving. Uh -huh. drive. He asked me to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I was he like, said, I need to drive. I was like, can you handle this truck? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to make I can. it. <laughs> And I like I got I got I got I got to get in the car with you first. Yeah, see fine. how you see what you're working with. So um, what's the um plan to be able to um? Cause you said everybody moving. You said agents moving and a lot of deals and business. So how you gonna structure so you can? I know, man. I gotta get. I gotta build my team Rolling. up here. I, I need some agents up here. Um, when I come up here, I be taking agents out to lunch and stuff to get them to come over. Uh -huh. Um. You know, a lot of it, yeah, a lot of them don't want to let go of them Keller Williams and all that. But what I'm building is something different, man. Like we not only trying to sell, houses, we trying to buy up the city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you only if you only sell houses, you got to keep doing that forever. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't, it's like Monopoly. You know. Um, <laughs> If, if you don't if you don't buy no land and you just pass go and collect two hundred dollars every time you ain't gonna win the game. Mm -mm. Cause you always gonna be that one house short yeah. trying to get it. We paying landing on somebody else. I was having trouble finding private money because I never raised it before, so I was learning as I go. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make somebody an offer they can't refuse. So I think I was paying like fifteen percent. I was paying like fifteen percent, and I got two people that responded. So we did that first deal. I broke even on it, but I had the I had the private lenders in my pocket, right. right? So as soon as we closed that deal, both of them hit me up the next week, like, "Yo, when's the next deal?" So I brought them another deal. The second deal was ten percent. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, then the deal after that was eight. Right. We so now we back in out. regular territory, right. but I got the game started. Right. You know, and now I know how to get private lenders, and you know, it, it just compound, but. I had to make them an offer they couldn't refuse at right. first, you know, so it's, it's. But it seems that, it seems like that's kind of the best way to go to get in the door so you don't have to pull out the money in the front end, the capital, then, um, you know, going to, because if we went to our regular lender, like just the bank, they would have asked for, you know, 20%, 15%. Yeah, 20, down. 15% yeah. down and all that, yeah. And so. you would have been on your own with your own construction, um, but. Right, yeah, so that's why, I mean. So you might have to pay a little bit up front or whatever case is on, yeah. the, you know, with them, but. I say the traditional banks, they got their place, like every, somebody asked me yesterday, like what type of financing you use? I said, I use all of it, like. Yeah. yeah, everything got its place for different type of deals. You know, hard money got its place when you're trying to renovate. That way, you can refi and get up out that bad interest rate. Right. You know, um, private money is good because you ain't got to do no paperwork. Like uh, one of the houses I bought, I closed in three days. And the reason why I won the deal it was multiple offers. The reason why I won the deal is because I could close quicker right. with cash. You know, so. That's why private money is so good. You can't close that quick with a bank. Right. By sticking like a little um, sign up here, so to say, steel forms or um, whatever I want to put. So whatever I let, <laughs> you know, whoever yeah. Airbnb, home away from home, whatever we decide to do, if we do something like that, then they'll know which way to go. Yeah, no, nah, it's tight. <laughs> I'm about to book me a book me a, uh, a date. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have vegetables and everything out here, so it's gonna be. Sort of like you could bring your family and be able to spend a day just here, yeah. serene. Right, something different. Yeah, this ATVs. Is, um, yeah, this is definitely the next move. It's bland. We're gonna put a, a ride iron gate right here, so it opens up. Uh -huh. So 
This one you can run through if you want to, but that rod, that iron gonna stop you. So yeah. This one I think I'm gonna make into the check-in office. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna put doors on the front of the fresh doors and um, gravel it out, and then they can stop in, check in, get keys, um, extra towels, whatever you need to do. Right. I'll be right there in my office. So when I don't wanna go to Brandon Road, I can work from right there. Okay. What's that, like a little lake over there? Uh -huh. it's a can you fish or no? Um, I think it has fish in there, but we're gonna put more fish in there to help clear it up. Yeah. So some get some um, algae eater and some um, fish in there. It's gonna be real nice. Yeah. Um, and maybe uh, something going down to it, leading like a little bridge or dock or something. But um, chickens and stuff here, maybe a couple <laughs> of goats. I don't know, a cow, a horse. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, have you priced a goat? I haven't. Are they expensive? Have you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's let's ask Siri. Siri, how much does a goat cost? Here's what I found. A hundred to three hundred. Oh shit! I should have bought a. A goat <laughs> is cheaper than my cat. <laughs> you wow. should have bought a goat. This is gonna be. Let me show it to you. Well, let me get the shoes. Let's Yeah, we gotta get the rim. Up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Nah, but it's nice though. And it feels different. Like it feels good out yeah. here. Yeah, definitely. It's a whole different vibe. We supposed to close. We, so, we were supposed to close on this today, but it got pushed back. We're gonna end up closing next week. So, um, so Erica's buying this. I'm representing her as as the broker. And uh, what me and Erica's are doing because we're you know we're business partners, we're taking that commission and using it to buy other deals. So. Um, that's kind of how we're doing it.